what is the full spectrum of what aliens might look like to us? Now that we've laid this all on on the table of like, all right, so there has to be some overlap in this uh, causal chain that led to them. What are we What are we looking for? What do you think we should be looking for? So you met, you mentioned mass spec, measuring certain objects that aliens could create or are aliens themselves. Um, we show up to a planet, or maybe not a planet, or maybe what what the what the hell is the basic object we're trying well, to let's measure? Cut the a break. Assembly index of. Let's cut ourselves a break. Let's assume that they are they they're metabolized. They, they've got an energy source, and they they've they've they're a a size that we can recognize. Let's give our, cut ourselves a break because there could be aliens that are so big we won't recognize we're seeing them. And there might be aliens that are so small we don't yet have the ability to, you know, we'd have microscopes that can see, you know, far enough away so that just wouldn't be able to see them. So but, what's a good range? So let's just make a range. Of, let's just be very anthropocentric and say we're going to look for aliens roughly our size and technology our size because we we know it's possible on Earth, right? I mean, a reasonable thing to do would be to to find exoplanets that are in the same zone as Earth in terms of heat and stuff, and then say, hey, if there's that same kind of gravity, same kind of stuff, we could reasonably assume that the alien life there might use a similar kind of physical infrastructure, and then we're good. So then, then, you're, then, then your question becomes really relevant. Say, right, let's use vision, sound, touch. And, and so they, okay, that's really nice. So that if there's a lot of aliens out there, it, there's a good likelihood if you match to the planet that they're going to be in the same spatial and temporal operating in the same spatial and temporal domain as humans. Okay, within that, what what <laughs> what do they look like <laughs> visually? What do they sound like? Uh, what do they? Oh god, this sounds creepy. Taste like? What is they? <laughs> oh, uh, smell like, smell like. That's the it sounds like our clubhouse. And we was like, can we have sex with aliens? Which yes. was basically me saying, passionate, passionate love. But it wasn't actually about sex. It was about is our chemistry compatible, right? Yes. Is there some? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Can 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 we? Um, yeah. Are, are they edible too? They could be very edible. They could be delicious. I, that's why I want to see some aliens, right? Because I think are there? I think evolution. Um, I mean, evolution exploits symmetry, right? Because why why generate memory? Why generate storage? The need for storage space when you can use symmetry. So, and symmetry is quite maybe quite effective in allowing you to mechanically design stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe alien, it could you could be would be reasonable to assume that aliens could have, they could be bipedal, they could be symmetric in the same way, might have a couple of eyes or a couple of sensors. I mean, we can make make that. And perhaps there's this whole zoo of different aliens out there and we'll never get to be able to classify some of the weird aliens we can't interact with because they have made such weird stuff. Yeah. But we are just going to look at, we're going to find aliens that look most like us. Why not? Because those are the first ones we're likely to see. Yeah. 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 But I, I think it's really hard to imagine what the space of aliens is because the space is huge. Because, you know, like one of the arguments that you can make about why life emerges in chemistry is because chemistry is the first scale in terms of like, you know, building up objects from elementary objects. Um, that the number of possible things that could exist is larger than the universe can possibly make all at once, right? So um, so you imagine you have two planets and they're, they're cooking some geochemistry. You know, our planet invented one kind of biochemistry. And presumably, as you start building up the complexity of the molecules, the chances of the overlap in those trajectories, those causal chains being built up is probably very low. Um, and it gets lower and lower as it gets farther advanced along its evolutionary path. So I think it's very difficult to for, imagine predicting the technologies that aliens are going to have. I mean, it's it's so it's you're looking at basically planets have kind of convergent chemistry, but there's some variability, and then you're looking basically at the outgrowth into the possibility space yeah. from chemistry.